I am the hammer. I'm the scalpel. And this is the pipe. And we are reacting to the Dark Phoenix final trailer. Final trailer, final movie mm. for Fox to put out any something good, <laughs> anything. I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm skeptical because the X Men movies just you know they're hit or miss. Yeah, <clears throat> I will give them more props for First Class and Days of Days of Future Past ish. They weren't bad over the original trilogy. Yeah. Number one and number two of the original trilogy were number one was awesome. Number two decent. Number three, I punch God in the face for making it. Does Logan count? Is that part of the two? Logan no. is part of the universe, old, but old. not part of those uh, movies. Yeah, see, that's why I liked it. Like Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan, yeah. phenomenal. But I think... He only did that, literally, in my opinion, because of Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. Deadpool proved that radar flicks... That came out before Deadpool. No, it didn't. Logan. Old Man Logan. Old came Man out? Logan yeah, came, came out after, after Deadpool. Came out, came out after oh, Deadpool shit. two okay. came out after that. All right, well let's. But uh, they're like rated R. Let's say that this so was after. We disagree. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. All right, we'll, well, we'll, let's we'll, get uh, the, we'll fire up now. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. 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 Astronauts, we bring them home. Go. The heat signatures rising right right fast. We gotta get out of here. Where's Jean? Where is she? Jean! So she should be dead. Before. Did you hear what the kids are calling you? Phoenix. Hello, Jean. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Something's happening to me. You lose like control. Bad things happen. But it feels good. That power destroyed everything it ever came into contact with. Until you, the Black Men, fear you. And what they fear, we seek to destroy. A girl dies. She's still out there. She's not Jean anymore. You do? That's right. Well, just come on, man. They yeah. kill off Magneto or Charles Xavier at this age. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I have low expectations for this movie. Only for the simple fact is that I... They, didn't have a, they never had a good running. So no, no. Did the... the uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, with the, the first prequel they did. With the, uh, first, con first Class. First Class yeah. was amazing. I really enjoyed First Class. Oh, I did, yeah. It was, it was good. really good. That, was really to good. me, is the best X-Men movie. I, I, I love that movie. They misused a couple of the characters in that movie. All right. Like, Havoc. Uh, uh, not Havoc, uh, the black cab driver. Oh. He plays a character. His character in the comics. The dude who can like morph in the... He becomes whatever is necessary to survive the world. Yeah, the evolution dude. Yeah. yeah like so he what happens? He's in the tank. And he can breathe water. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So his character technically is that he 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 adapts to any situation, right? And uh, I guess for the and they kill him off. Yeah. And I'm like that's <laughs> bullshit because that's impossible for his character. And that's and, in uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called in um, in the comics? In World World War Hulk when he goes after the uh, X Men. Was the um, the ex mansion I mentioned, and I can't remember his name, but he go Dar Darwin. There you go, Darwin. He shows up and he tries to fight the Hulk, and the only thing his powers can do is take him out of the situation, because the Hulk is that that crazy. Power. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? World War Hulk was yeah, like he was different. Yes, like, he no, was I love like, that. Yeah. So the they, fact they, that they misused Darwin 
in that movie, which to me, tactically, he should have been like the most OP character of that show, or that movie, and just killed him off from mm -hmm. like an energy blast. Yeah, they jumped him out. Ah, that was stupid. Well, the thing about this whole Dark Phoenix saga is that it, 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 they have completely kiboshed anything when it comes to the comics. Because there's a lot more to it than this, and there's a lot more like Wolverine and everybody, there's a lot more people involved in it. So they're kind of like just doing their own thing. In the Phoenix Saga, yeah. Yeah, like they're, they're kind of doing their own thing right now. And well, so did the MCU with, with uh... Right, but they did a good job. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> they, did a, <laughs> they, did, they did a good job about it. That's, That's the, the difference. Well, the thing we have to realize is they do this for the people who can go and watch the film who haven't been fans. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They, they try and... McAvoy's probably one of the good reasons. No, how many non how many non comic book fans are ever seen a movie though, compared to comic book fans nowadays? Even then, much more. I would I would surmise, and uh, again I could be wrong, but when people want to go see Blade, I would I would assume at least well over half of the people that went to go see Blade are comic book fans. Right, Blade one. Blade, Blade one. one. Yeah. No, Blade fans. one. I'll, 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 you know, I will be the devil's advocate on this one. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about Blade. Okay. It's just like rated R Marvel movie. I'm like, I'll give it a shot. I win. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Blade one and two, good. Three, trash. Yeah. Yeah. Three never happened. <laughs> Three's a mulligan. You're just like, wrong. Let's see about that reboot though. The Blade reboot? Yeah, apparently they're making. What? Uh, it, yeah. I'll 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 take the because I understand that they want to bring Blade into the MCU. Because Blade has been brought back into the comics. Yeah, and it's part of the Avengers now. Because they're bringing. I also heard that because they're also they're planning to do a Mobius movie. The yeah, the Sony's right now is making the Mobius movie with uh, Jared Leto. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, um, to me. I don't believe that Mobius movie is going to be good. No. Only <laughs> because Sony is to me running off the whole like, well, Venom was an antihero, yeah. and we lucked out on everyone liking it. Yeah. Sure, not know. a single fucking person who's not a comic book fan, although who's like a dark, not a dark, a deep comic book fan, knows who Mor Morbius is. And Venom was uh... Venom is, uh, I think he's more known than Morbius. He's he's more known, known, like, I think the hammer's talking about Venom like, was okay, yeah. yeah like, like, it wasn't it was a film itself. Yeah. Crabs and it made over or close to a billion dollars or whatever it was, but... I think the fact that they took that's away... The, it's the only reason it's getting a sequel. Oh, exactly. But I think Woody the fact that they took away like any... Carnage. <laughs> I'll take it, because it's Woody Harrelson, dude. Like, yes, yes, he's no, surprisingly... He's, he's awesome. Yeah. I, just, I didn't expect... Emma well, Cassidy, I think... That was going to be Woody Harrelson. Dude. No, I think yeah. one of the biggest problems with comic book movies, all of them, even MCU movies, yep. but they've done it better, was bringing big names into play these characters. Don't bring in an Arnold Schwarzenegger to play some big jacked old like no, no don't do stuff like that. Bring in <laughs> a new generation. Well, you know, like bring in a new generation of people. Yeah. That you you're not looking like oh it's Robert Downey Jr. He's done this this and this. I'm like all right well that saved his career. What can he do? Yeah, but yeah. no Iron Man saved his career. No, Iron Man saved the MCU yeah. saved his career. Uh, exactly, but yeah, bring in saved. people who are like you're 25 between 25 and 30 and can play these characters and are dedicated to these characters for the next 10 years. You know what I mean? Might as well look for those kind of people instead of like... Do uh, you know Chris so Tony, with before Thor? No, uh, sure exactly. enough. Yeah. But everyone knew Captain America, everyone, or not Captain everyone knew uh, Robert Downey Jr. Chris and Chris Hemsworth from, yes. from, uh, from the Human Torch. I, I knew Chris Hemsworth from Cabin in the Woods. That movie was phenomenal. Never watched that. Great. Phenomenal movie. They okay. filmed it. Hands down phenomenal. And then Thor came out and they delayed it. They're like, oh crap. Because well, a minor character in our, our film is still, still a major character. Is a major character in this movie that would. Ah, so man. watch Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. It's actually watch, good. watch Cabin in the Woods if you guys haven't the Woods, seen watch it. Watch it. Yes, good. I, watch as it. for this, what they're doing with this, uh, what Fox is doing with the Dark Phoenix saga, I am not too hopeful. I think what I personally liked what they did with Old Man Logan was Fox did Fox did that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, I liked that because it was like its own thing. It was, a, it was a final goodbye to someone that played Wolverine for 17 years. And also uh, Patrick Stewart playing as uh, Professor X. He's gold. Yeah. But Patrick but the, Stewart's gold. And at the same time, he never and aged. He don't him. age either. <laughs> he he, he floats out of that. Yeah, I got the bald it's not the aging. <laughs> but the thing about that is like the only movie that I've been too much impressed with, I think we were saying before that 
why I liked the first X Men movie was is because it was an excellent yeah. movie. It was an introduction to an idea. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I, as the whole series progressed with the future past and everything, I'm kind of skeptical on what this is going to be like. Because personally, I I don't know. I'm, I've kind of lost faith in this because yeah. I personally don't think that you know they after, could really uh, after the last one. Yeah. Well, yeah. especially with the Phoenix storyline from the comics, it's a lot more one movie to fit the whole Phoenix storyline. It won't though. No. It's, a, unless it's unless lot, you have a lot writers more so absolutely amazing. Even though, but, 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 uh, still, uh, exactly, uh, yeah. but even still, they'll be like, hammer that smoke. The pipe has spoken. I, I don't know. It's, I do not speak this language. It's foreign to me. If they started off with first, first, uh, first class with that idea in mind, it would have been gold. It would have been gold because yeah. then they created, they, they already created the universe for the X Men, but the. They made it uh, synchronized with each other with the previous movies. Those like the er, early X-Men movies make absolutely no sense with the with the last three movies. Yeah, but, but, you know what I mean? Even with the Days of Future Past, uh, technically Charles Xavier was supposed to be dead. Yep. So however they brought him back, they don't introduce another, another Wait, universe or a different reality or anything yeah. like that. So I'm like, nah, that's, that's see, but that's just the thing when it comes to like the, the comic books and whatnot. You got like. You got like uh, Mystique is one of the. She's also. She's she, a badass bad guy. She's but yeah, she's like she's Mystique is like in. I mean, you got like Magneto with like you know you have a uh, you have like the ball. Like there was like a whole faction that he had to asteroid M. Yeah. Where he when he had a whole faction and that also was part of the whole Phoenix saga, where it's just like you have all the you have all the X Men, all the classic X Men. You got like Nightcrawler. You got like you know Beast. Yeah. You, got, you know you, you basically have your like Gambit. You have everybody that, that's in there, and then, like, when, when introducing the Phoenix Saga, they're kind of just doing their own thing, where, like, Mystique is one of the X-Men. Mm-hmm. And then like, they're, they're taking the, the, with the, the, the first one, the first class, yeah. they're taking first class I and running with, with that. Yeah. And I'm, to me, it's just sort of like, that's not the X-Men I know. Because no. it doesn't explain, if, if you want to, I guess, compare it to the comics, it doesn't explain how Mystique turns into the big bad. That she's supposed to be in the comics. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you should, to me, in the movies, they make her more into an anti-hero, whereas she was never that. No. Yeah. In the comics, you know what I mean? So. And, and Rogue had a pretty significant uh, role in the whole, the whole. In the original movie. movies, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In the comics, she's, yeah. Not yeah. Even, she's not even. She's not even. She didn't even think. Exactly. She's she's not even no. She but bored. Makes sense if because how Sony and their, or sorry, Fox and their infinite wisdom, try to create a universe and didn't know how. They have Rogue in the first three movies, yep. but then they go back 30 years in the first get class, yeah. and they get rid of her, you know what I mean? So, I, so, so I, I have to say that the cartoon, the one, the Fox oh, cartoon, yeah. Fox did it better in the cartoon that came out when we grew up. Yeah, in the 90s. <laughs> 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 yeah, that one, okay, yeah. They so. did it better with that, even when it came to uh, introducing Apocalypse, that, that yeah. Ivan Ooze looking motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah. I that movie it. was horrible. Yeah. And, and that's why well, hey, we'll not think of it. Except for except for Olivia Munn. No, well, hey. As Psylocke. Olivia yeah. Munn playing, you know, she could play like, like the fail <laughs> thing. She could play the corpse that's on the table in a criminal minds episode and I'd be like, Oh Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like But anything it's Olivia Munn. All yeah. I'm saying is anything X Men that's come out. Except for except for the, uh, the the old man Logan, yeah, the old man Logan and the, the first like the the, the first couple X Men, yeah. yeah, yeah, like it, it, that's where I stand with this. Where yep. I'm, I personally have a speaking that I have no high expectation with this because I I think I think the whole saga is kind of shit. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> like from my from my point of view, with what they're working with from the source material. You need the best writers you've ever seen to make this really go off. They're not fans. I, I, I highly believe that the writers of this don't follow yeah. any of like, the thing is they're doing the no. thing is they've got limited to work with, especially yep. with what came up before them. And, and the fact that Fox micromanages the fuck out of these movies. Everything. Yeah. So who knows? You know what? We'll we'll reserve judgment. We'll see it. It'll be a hammer, scalpel and pipe slice. Mm-hmm. Or bludgeon, or pipe, <laughs> smash, or smash. You're gonna feel it. Yeah, you will feel it. <laughs> we'll give our reviews on on this particular film, and 
you know, we'll. I hope it's good. I'm hoping yeah. that it's at least a good conclusion to what Fox tried to do with first first class. I, I hope it's good. Yeah. yeah. So because this is the end of uh, their their, their run. Yeah. Well, yeah, that means it's less less still keeping Fox as an entity. Yes. So any of their um, R-rated comic book movies that come out is going to be coming out under Fox. Under, under Disney. Fox, just like old school Fox, days, it was like Touchstone, but Disney yeah. technically owned it. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll see. We'll see how they do for the last, their the last swing of things. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Like I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to this one personally, but I hope they. I hope it does well because I'm. I hope so too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I do. There'd be at least a nice send off for them. Yep. if they do well. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what we're <laughs> Good luck. No more fart clowns. Yeah, no more. <laughs> Doctor Doctor Doom in space and like how did that work for Fantastic Four? Oh, let's not think about it. That was all. Uh, that was bad. Like the last last. That last one. that last one. That was trash. That was a straight middle finger to any comic book fan for yep. sure. Yeah. One because they didn't want to release the rights to Fantastic Four. That was well, bad. It was like yeah. like a, like a child holding onto their toy. Yeah. Don't toy with what we don't, don't toy don't, with don't, our childhood. Yeah, don't 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 mess with that. Especially yeah. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is supposed to be badass. Doctor Doom is such a badass. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I really can't think that of a, be. I really can't think of a better Earth-bound villain with that much clout. Yep. 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 But uh, that part we can go on for like an hour. Yeah, that's true. So, it's but like, uh, as we wrap this up. Yeah, so um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Hit those and likes. And get, 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 give us the likes. Give us love. But uh, I'm the hammer. I'm the scalpel. And this is the pipe. And uh, peace. Peace. Peace is.